Hey love, so today I have a Dollar Tree beauty haul and I've got a bag of Dollar Tree items right? and then I also have a huge bag full of name brand items here so I have a lot to go through and I hope you all enjoy this. Um, these are basically my picks for the month of May and anyway let's just jump right in. Starting with Dollar Tree items, I got some more of these Assured RX cotton swabs and you get 350 of these which is a huge amount. I thought I would try this April Bath and Shower Exfoliating Bath Glove and now that I'm thinking about it, I should have got two because I think it's going to be fabulous. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but they had several different colors and I have never tried a bath glove of any kind so I thought I would give it a shot. And then I also picked up this four-way nail buffer block. This is by Sassy and Chic and if you're not familiar with what these are you get one side to file the second to smooth third to buff and the fourth to uh, shine and they work really well actually as well as ones I've bought at beauty supply stores and then speaking of sassy and chic I got two more packs of my beloved uh, nails my fashion nails and this print is like a mod kind of like 60s ish type print I don't know what would you call that like a color blocking I don't know they're fabulous and then these I thought are perfect for summer just gold and white stripes next I got some of these hair elastics and you guys know I'm a fan of the ribbon elastics from Dollar Tree this was a five pack I'm actually wearing the mint one in my hair but you get purple pink and then a mint and then two black and then I also found this pack which these are just gorgeous these look sorry if you could hear Wrigley squeaking in the background but um, these look just like something you would like find in Walmart or you know a drugstore or Ulta or a name brand that you would pay five times more for. These I was completely floored when I found these. These are lace head wraps and look how freaking gorgeous these are. And not only do you get one or two but you get three. So they have white and then a cream kind of color and then a black one and I just think these are fabulous i mean you would never think that these were a dollar and the print on these is just beautiful and the detailing there's i have not found one place on any of these that is fraying or it looks jacked up or anything they look really pretty i mean look at that next i decided to pick up this two in one foot file and this has a removable blade for easy cleaning, which I think is fantastic. And then I was also reading on the back earlier, and it said that this is a uh, stainless steel. It says that it's easy to handle. Um, it's supposed to be two-sided, so there should be a little, like another file on the other side. But anyway, we'll see how it works out. I'll do a review on it for you guys. And next I grabbed some of the April Bath and Shower Rose and Apple Blossom Scented Shower Gel. And way back when I first started YouTube, I did a review on the April Bath and Shower shower gels and the bubble baths. And I actually uh, found that when you compare the ingredients, they're the exact same list of ingredients that they were back then. Look how beautiful this bottle is, by the way. It's just absolutely beautiful. I love the colors on it. I love anything rose. Normally I don't like apple scented, but I think that the scent of this one is split right down the middle. I can smell apple and I can smell rose. But anyway, what I'm trying to get is I want to use this for bubble bath, y'all, because that's what I did last time and it was fabulous. Lots of bubbles. Um, but speaking of rose, I got some more of this perfume body cream. Uh, this is rose scented and this is by the Dollar Tree. And I did finish... Um, well, I'm almost finished with my other bottle that I got, but I decided to pick up another one because I loved it so much. And I love the packaging. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just say it. I'm a sucker for it. So I picked up another bottle of that. They also have that in the shower gel as well. Oh, goodness, yes. Next, we have this fabulous Kabuki brush <laughs> by Sassy and Chic. Uh, a couple of subbies asked me to pick this up, and look at this crap. I mean, yeah. I was going to do a review on this but then decided not to but if you all would like to see one on that let me know i was gonna wash it and just kind of see how it does after that and see if the hair still falls out i don't know these are the uh, bath fizzers that they have out right now at dollar tree and i think that this smells like rose personally but i don't know because you can't find the scent anywhere on this i think i love rose so much that I'm, my nose is pulling for it to be rose but 
if you guys know where to find the name of the scents on these, I, please let me know if I'm just a complete blonde and I just can't see it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to talk more about these in an upcoming review video for you guys. And then if there are requests for anything else, just let me know as far as the Dollar Tree stuff goes. And let's look at the name brand stuff I found. So these are all my name brand finds, mostly for this past month. This is double bagged, it is huge and heavy. And I'm just gonna pull stuff off the top. So the first thing is this acne free, acne spot treatment and redness control. It's the original strength terminator. And I freaking love this stuff. It is, I love the acne free products anyway, um, because they are so gentle and that stuff works miracles let me tell you and then the next thing is this acne free gentle cleansing bar this has exfoliating microfiber microfiber <laughs> whoops micro beads in it and this smells oh my gosh this smells so good i can smell it from from here and it's inside the package still which i that's another thing i love i love that it's packaged inside the box anyway this stuff would retail for around like five dollars a piece at least i know the soap does and i also grabbed this jordash men uh this is their version of nautica for men by nautica and my husband loves this um it is a dead ringer for nautica i'm not even kidding y'all this is what it looks like it's a really pretty blue color could kind of update the style of the bottles but you know what for a buck this i swear in a blind sniff test i don't know that i would be able to tell the difference between this and the real thing i mean i i really think that this is a dead ringer i found these two lipsticks by nyc they're the expert last lip colors i got 439 love my latte look at the little heart for the o how precious and then this red i love reds um i thought this was gorgeous this one is number Number 001 and it's called red or alive and these are some of my favorite lipsticks ever and I was really shocked that these were at the Dollar Tree and they had a lot of different colors but um, the other ones were way too dark for me to pull off this next thing I had such a dorky moment on these are the chap eye slip treatments um, the petroleum jelly lip treatments rather and I got the rosy one now they have the original the cocoa butter and just the plain petroleum and I said in my vlog recently that these are like well they are kind of like dupes for the Vaseline line but you guys this is so heavily scented like rose it reminds me of the Smith's rosebud salve which is like a cult classic favorite beauty item of mine so it is very heavily scented like rose but this works amazingly well it's just like the Vaseline kind and I definitely recommend it I found these Remington head wraps uh, well scored on these these are fantastic uh, these would definitely probably be at least five or six dollars if you found them in Walmart or Target or wherever they are very durable very thick I love these so that's a great find on those next I found this jumbo lip pencil and this is by diamond cosmetics which I have never tried anything from them before but it says it's a perfect lip liner too so it's kind of sorry I just got a text it's kind of confusing um, I will probably just fill in my entire lip with it I'm also confused on the color I don't know what the name of the color is is it XOXO um, or what i don't know it's gorgeous though i'm about to swatch it i just i don't see a color name anywhere not even on the other packaging so i don't know let's just swatch it and see what it looks like oh yeah it goes on really smooth and it looks oh gosh that is gorgeous look at this it's basically like a coral color i was thinking it's gonna come off a little bit darker i don't know what i was thinking but heck i love it i guess maybe that's the name xoxo hug kiss hug kiss or kiss hug kiss hug <laughs> i don't know whichever anyway that's fabulous if you guys tried any of those products let me know next i just grabbed another pack of my global beauty care cleansing cloths and these are the retinol kind this is the only kind my dollar tree has been carrying recently but i always grab a pack when i go in i know you guys have seen those forever <laughs> next i grabbed this pure and natural shampoo and conditioner that i think a lot of people have been hauling already and i haven't 
tried this yet. Obviously, I've not looked up reviews or anything, but I'm excited because it's rosemary and mint. I love mint stuff. Can I say that enough? I love mint stuff. It smells fabulous. Um, but this has this is actually hypoallergenic and it's paraben free, so it's supposed to be really gentle. I got some more of this soft whisper body wash. This is the uh, pomegranate lemon verbena, the Dove dupe that I actually I just recently reviewed this in my empties video and also my most recent beauty review video uh this stuff is fantastic i really love it and i've not bought a bottle of dove since i discovered it so i've saved a lot of money i saw that my dollar tree had some tone bath bars and i love the petal soft bath bars and i've never seen this scent before this is pink peony and rose oil and tone is one of the few brands that i can use any scent or any type in and it doesn't irritate my skin so i love these Next, I grabbed this bottle of LA Colors Color Craze Polish. I've been digging some of their newer colors recently. This one is in Nectarine, and it's a really pretty pastel orangey color, obviously, but I hauled a hot pink one and um, kind of like a, you know, the one with the dots in it last time and I'm loving some of their newer colors they're doing a good job on those next I have this edge body non-foaming face and body shave cream and I got this for my husband originally but he doesn't like it for his face and I was like hmm let me try that because look it is mint scented and not only is it mint scented you guys this smells just like twisted peppermint from Bath and Body Works OMG like I can't even with it and it makes my legs super smooth so hey I definitely took that off his hands and that retails for around six dollars no joke and last but not least I grabbed this bottle of Salon Selective's Advanced Argon Oil from Morocco people super fancy uh, the black bottle ones um, and it's color safe and yeah treat yourself to one of the world's ancient beauty secrets I don't think it's a secret anymore salon selectives so let's sniff you oh my gosh it smells just like the uh, little tub in the um the three minute conditioner that's what it smells like so i got this for my husband um because he wanted to be redeemed in his horrible experience with that spa house shampoo <laughs> loves that's it for my beauty haul this time i really hope you all enjoyed it and if there's anything you would like reviews on if you want to hear my two cents on anything <laughs> please let me know um and also please leave your feedback down below and uh, let everybody know what you think of these products and as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!